The Format screen allows you to control graph formatting and visibility in many different ways. I'm using a TI-84 Plus C Silver Edition calculator. If you're using the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition, your menus will look just a little different than mine. Let's start by graphing a function. I'll press the Y equals button on the left side just below the display. I'd like to graph f of x equals the absolute value of x minus 3, so I'll use a shortcut to enter the absolute value function by pressing the alpha key and then pressing the window button below the display to access the shortcut function menu. The top option is the absolute value, so I'll choose that. Because I'm in math print mode, I'll see the two vertical bars that symbolically represent absolute value. I'll press the X variable key to enter X, and then the right arrow to move out of the absolute value. And then I'll type minus 3, and press the zoom key to view the zoom menu. For this example, let's choose Z decimal to jump to the graph. Now I'll press the trace key and use the left and right arrow keys to move around the graph. Notice the expression is displayed outside the graph area in the upper left corner, and the coordinates for my trace are below the graph. Now that we've got a graph to work with, let's check out the format screen. I'll press second, and then the zoom key to view the format options. At the top, you can set the graph to rectangular or polar grid coordinates. Below that, you can turn coordinates on or off. If I were to select off here, those coordinates below the graph we saw during the trace would disappear. To select a different option, use the arrow keys to highlight the option you want, and then press the Enter key to select it. The next line will look slightly different if you've got a TI-84+. You can either turn the grid on or off and if you've got it turned on, you'll see a dotted grid. Here, on the TI-84 Plus C, I've got one extra option, and I can set my grid to either have dots or lines. If you have a color display, you have an option here to change the color of your grid when turned on. Use the left or right arrow keys to select the color you want there, and then press the down arrow key. You can also change the color of the axes, this can be especially helpful if you have a darker background, because by default the axes are medium gray. If that's the case, change your axes color to something lighter. Label off is selected by default, but if you want each axis to be labeled, you can turn them on. In this case, since we're graphing a Cartesian coordinate plane with rectangular coordinates, we'd see the labels X and Y with the labels turned on. The next row allows you to turn the expression on and off. If I turn that off, the expression disappears from the upper left corner. Border color lets you choose from four different colors. This can be helpful when you want to change the contrast between your expression and coordinates since they appear in the border. Background allows you to set a background image for the graph. Use the right and left arrow keys to select from different image vars, or variables, loaded on the calculator. The next line yes, you guessed it, detects asymptotes. With this turned on, the TI-84 Plus C goes through an additional step to check if there is an asymptote. If found, the calculator won't just connect the points and draw what appears to be a vertical asymptote. You can turn this option off to improve graphing speed. Once you have the format settings the way you want them, you can jump back to the graph at any time as I've been doing throughout the movie, by pressing the graph button to compare and analyze your expressions.